Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. Bang! Splat! We're going to do something a little different today. And this might give you a clue. Bang Splat loves you. Okay, uh, so it's February. It's February 9th. And uh, February means RPM Challenge. RPM Challenge is a, uh, a challenge of musicians to make an album in the month of February, the shortest month of the year. And I've been doing it for several years now. I, I think actually 2008. So I'm, this is like my, oh goodness, this will be like my ninth year, right? Something like that. Um, this is my uh, Bandcamp page and I do have, I believe I have all of my RPM challenge records up, uh, including the last two. The last two I did in Minecraft. Uh, I built musical instruments in Minecraft and did the the core recording of the audio in Minecraft using Minecraft as kind of a you know a musical instrument. Uh, two years ago, I did I used minecarts because if you put several minecarts on on tracks and then kind of get them out of sync, they make some interesting rhythms. And last year, I did a complicated thing. Uh, I built this machine where spawn chickens and they walked on pressure plates which created a little percussive instrument percussive sort of element and then i had note blocks and they were going doing their thing um void world i actually really like the way it turned out i'm less happy with last year's um but i have an idea that means that involves using minecraft but instead of using the sounds of minecraft i've decided to build my own resource pack and hence this so I was playing around and found out you can change the uh, the splash messages the splash screen messages with your uh, resource pack so I created a bang splat rpm challenge 2017 resource pack and really all that I've done there is uh, swap out some sounds let me let me show you what that looks like so if you don't know, in Minecraft, you've got uh, you have in your Minecraft folder, which on the Mac is, is buried in this hidden libraries folder. So you have to like go to that folder explicitly. But inside there, there's a resource packs folder and each resource pack has its own folder. And this is mine. Um, there's a silly little logo or icon and then some information just a simple little JSON file with some information. And then inside there, you can swap out things. And, and the sounds are here. You can put them in here. And I've got the note block sounds. And I've actually got my own harp sound here. And they're referenced in this JSON file, which is pretty simple. So right here, I'm just going through and saying, oh, yeah, here's the note block notes. And there's actually... A couple that aren't used in the game as far as I can tell but the harp is the kind of the one the main one I'm going after so I'm telling it where to, where to find the file to use it's pretty straightforward uh, so I'm building a machine and I'm gonna play note blocks with my own sounds so this is the uh, the machine here this should look fairly familiar or if you watch Etho he came up with this little um, sort of dropper dropper item randomizer so you put a bunch of items in there and then a item in here oh and this one is actually turned on and when powered so there's a little clock here boop uh, when it powered it sends items basically back and forth between these so it'll send an item over here and back there put in one item that does not stack so it causes this comparator to output a strong enough signal to reach this repeater and it powers that note block all the other items stack to 64 so they don't so when I turn it on uh, it plays randomly and then I have note blocks playing the harp sound with my own version of the harp song the harp note 
and it plays it and they're tuned to different uh, different notes and let me show you what that note looks like so this particular one looks like this and let me play it so it's long it's two seconds long and it's made up a mixture of different frequencies and they're not frequencies that you're likely to run across on uh you know most music because i don't i don't work that way so i wanted to do something with prime numbers and i found this list of uh, centered square primes which are actually really uh it's it's nice because they're in a lot of them are sort of in the audible frequency not that well that one if you're really young that one but these sort of are in they're similar to notes in sort of western music notes uh but they're spaced oddly so they i want something that kind of sounds like music you know kind of sounds like a note you're familiar with but kind of doesn't so these numbers kind of work it and then i wrote this little program and i did this years and years ago for another rpm challenge but i wrote a little program that takes a list of frequencies and um, coefficients and mixes the frequencies together with that coefficient and turns it into a note of a duration that you tell it to and it does it using uh 48 transform so it goes through and, and basically takes uh information that's uh frequency based and turns it into time based and, and it happens right here it's actually super simple not much code to it i'm not doing it in a in an efficient way at all so running this two second note probably took you know three seconds to, to process and there are only only a handful of frequencies in it so it didn't take that long but notice it's not like a super super straightforward looking note there's a lot of complicated pieces to it here which gives it that kind of weird sound um and i wanted i built this because honestly you can if you put together the right combination of frequencies you can synthesize any sound in the world it's just a matter of figuring out the right frequencies to put together and the right in the right combinations um and if you don't believe me i put together this little demonstration thing here so i'm going to turn this on so this this is a program called pure data and it's it's useful for illustrating these sorts of ideas so i've got two oscillators here and they're frequencies that are just offset from one another to sort of show maximum effect this one is not going to make any sound at when i turn it on this one will make a sound and it's a 440 hertz so that's that's an a right and this is a sine wave so most music you listen to isn't made of sine waves but when i go and and turn this guy when I go and turn this guy on a little bit, see how they start pulsing together? It's because they're so close, they create these interference patterns. And if I make this, uh, if I make this not 440, but if I make it 450, you can see it's still pulsing, it's still interfering with one another, but, but it's like, it's different it, and so whatever i make this if i go 490 it has a completely different sound to it and the the amount that i combine these together determines exactly how it will how it turn out so if i put together lots of these like potentially hundreds or thousands of these all at different frequencies you can get really complicated sounds because we go from being pretty much a pure sine wave to being something that's not a pure sine wave it's it's got sort of shape to it and uh and like if we go and put this uh let's let's try like And that may not be the most pleasing sorts of sounds in the world, but um, that's the way that's the way sound works in general. Uh, and so I wanted to take advantage of that. So this program does this potentially lots of times. So if I gave it these two frequencies and gave it the mix like this, uh, you know, this here it runs from zero to one. 
and this here runs from zero to one. So if I put them both up on one and I get this, let me turn this down because it's going to be annoying. I would get this sort of sound. But then after I do create the the samples, the, the waveform, then I run it through an envelope generator, which basically turns it from that into something that looks like this, that kind of looks like an instrument of some sort maybe made it. Where you have an attack at the beginning here that goes whoop, and then it kind of sustains at a level for a little while and then it decays at the end. Sort of, you know, actual instruments in the world do this kind of thing. Percussive instruments have a very sharp attack and uh, typically short, short sustain and then short decay. Uh, so this is this is my attempt to to create something that sounds like a note, but is made up of all these sort of funny frequencies. So I encoded that into a uh, into an Ogvorbis file and put it right here. That's this file, and uh, it's not exactly this one. It's actually quieter. I had to attenuate it down to a much lower level for the reason that I'll show you in just a moment. So if we come in here to Minecraft and I go and turn on this thing, each of these again playing that note. That sounds really cool. So, um, now that by itself is, is going to get boring somewhat quickly, so I have to figure out a way. I think I'm going to put another clock out here with a randomizer and load it up with stuff like this. And the nice thing about this scheme, huh, this guy gets stuck out on the, on the head again. Oh, okay, I have to fix that. So uh, the nice thing about this scheme is if I have these items here, I can put more than one of each in here. So droppers, of course, when they receive a redstone signal or a redstone pulse, they'll choose an item in the thing at random. So if there's eight things here, it'll choose one of these eight. So you have a, whatever, that's a 12% chance, right? 12.5% chance uh, to output it. In this case, it goes into this dropper, boop, and then this so this redstone powers this guy he takes one item puts it in here if it happens to be the sword it then turns on this repeater and triggers that note block if it's anything other than the sword it just goes out here and it sits here and doesn't do anything and then this uh repeater then a tick later powers this dropper and it chooses one of the two things in it to spit back in here and if it's the sword it turns off I mean the note block doesn't continue playing it just it's a single thing but if the sword sits out here for a long time then this note block will just never never trigger and uh, so I've got I've got to fix those as well but uh, I, I like that so I think this is kind of cool sounding Bowser doesn't like it, but that's okay. It's okay, buddy. So uh, I'm going to put a, another randomizer out here to turn this on and off. So it'll sometimes it'll make sounds and sometimes it won't, which I think will be an interesting uh, an interesting component. It's not the only thing that I'm going to put in here, but it'll be it'll be one. Um, let me find and show you the other piece as I was playing around that I want to add. This might be a little difficult to hear, but this is the same same program, but it's outputting, it's using f for lower frequency values that are really close together, a bunch that are really close together. So they all interfere and cancel each other out. So it creates this little periodic whoop, 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 which I think is kind of cool. Um, 
So it's a little bit of a percussive element. I've got like two minutes of it here, and uh, I wanted I want to play around with this, play around with some of the numbers, and I want to be able to feed it larger groups of frequencies. And I want to type by hand, so I'm making changes to my program so that I can feed them from a text file and I can generate it from another program. Um, so if I make the RPM challenge record has to be at least 35 minutes long to qualify as an album. So if I make a 35 minute, uh, 35 minute track, something like this, uh, I can put it in and I can fade it in and out and sort of selectively uh, edit it the way I want it. Let's see here. Oh no, we're going to peak normalize this. Uh, this might be a bit loud. Let's do that. So this might be a little easier to hear. Yeah. So I like this. It's nice and atmospheric. Another thing I can do is I can generate a shorter chunk of this and then stretch it out um, and I can generate two of these that are playing slightly off speed from each other and get its additional cancellation so there's a lot of things to do a lot of experimentation to play with and then uh, potentially I might take some other sounds uh, that I, I have for my sort of bank of sounds that I've put together over the years and uh, put them, play around with those, and uh, put together a collage and see what I come up with. So uh, I've been working on this uh, for a while now, and you know it's it's we're just over a, a month or just over a week into the month of February, so I've got three more weeks. I've got a lot of commitments this month, um, so I'm trying to get this all sorted out uh, before. Uh, the end of the month so I can turn in the record on time uh, I will when I get more of this put together and I actually do a run through I'll record that and post it and I'll probably post this sooner I'm gonna try and post this tomorrow um, uh, I have a I have a bank of Minecraft land party episodes that I'll be posting in the meantime I haven't been playing on the server too much uh, but hopefully this weekend I can spend a little time Recording on there. I have a couple small projects to take care of that won't take too much brain power. So Anyway, that's that I just wanted to give you a little update on what I'm working on and As I showed before I do have a Bandcamp page uh, If you want to listen to and hear this crazy weird electronic music You can come here and listen to it here. So it's banksplat.bandcamp.com and you can go and uh, listen to it for free. You can, all of them are up as, as name your price, which includes zero. So you can actually buy and download the record for free if you want. Uh, and then, and then, you know, I, they're available in, in a, you know, it's Bandcamp, so it's available as lossless, you know, FLAC files or MP3s or, or a variety of different things. So I've got, I've got all these here. Uh, some of them are Meet the Pixels is a not a uh, oh it is the RPM challenge which is oh music yeah music for the robots is is a collection of tracks it's it's not a it's all dance music for robots uh, so this is available as well it's not a RPM challenge record and I believe oh I don't have it up here. Okay, I will also find the theme song for my for my videos is also something I created. I created it in Pure Data. It's just random note music. Um, I'll put it up here as a track, and you can download that as well if you like. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will update you more about this later, and there will be more Minecraft LAN party to come. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.